Greetings, everyone. I'm Director of Octavaca Labs, as is typically been the case, for very rare exceptions. And welcome to the SCP Review. I'm joined in call by Froman and Orla Seraph. Greetings. Well, I'll, I'll perhaps let you both introduce yourselves first. No, no, you, you, you should introduce me. Do it! Well, no, I refuse. That was a great introduction. You suck. <laughs> no, you? <laughs> Greetings in chat to Snippy S100, Brain Shatter, Brad Young. Happy impending birthday. Try to remind me in at least 10 days and I'll send you a super special rare video that only so many people have truly seen. But more to me on Twitter. Or you don't, you know, it's not like it has any monetary value. Greetings. If I watch it, does that mean I can come and get you? Absolutely not. Well, why would I want to watch it? Well, that's fine. I wasn't necessarily offering it to you anyway. <laughs> Besides, do you even have a birthday? I don't know how it really works with kidney eating. I mean, when you get to my Pops sort of age, you really don't care anymore. Oh. Stop counting, huh? Uh, yeah. Rinny's Keishal Whitechapel. Your boy Pat, Bidget Vetton, Paul Farrell, and I think I've got just about everyone there. By the way, all about if you want to just pop in with me sometime, let me know. I'm... It's been a while. It'd be quite nostalgic to have you on the call again. Just throwing that out there. Uh, we're going to get started now, I suppose. Sim. At the yes. Do you respond to that with a yes? No, I didn't hear. <laughs> no. I called you a simp and you agreed. Where's my money, bitch? Just send me money. <laughs> you know, that does remind me I need to take care of something real quick as a matter of uh, personal ethics and responsibility. Hey, what are you doing here? No, no, no! Sounds like good news. Uh, I did get a stream labs last Saturday. They didn't get a chance to read from Orla, who donated five bucks with a message for services rendered. Now, I'm obligated to say that, but I want to stress the services rendered were entirely legal above the board, non-sexual, and uh, was provided at great physical distance. So, if they you saw Saturday's so show, it, it, it was it's the bright side of life. <laughs> Hooked up is SCP-445, Object Class Safe. Special containment procedures, access to and testing of SCP-445 must be approved by staff with level 2 security clearance or higher, and each request must include a list of tests to be carried out. Any testing must be done with the accompaniment of no less than two guards for the entirety of testing. Any deviation to have a pre-approved list of tests will result in immediate termination of testing and a severe reprimand. Addendum, as of 06, redacted, 20 redacted, SCP-445 has been kept permanently separated from all samples SP-445-A, as described in Isolation Protocol IP-445-01. The access and testing regulations given... No more P-jerks. I've gone... I've gone on my means. I've taken great efforts to move away from that, having you a stream that uses a P in the <laughs> title, stream. and you know... Greetings, Intractive Bishop. The access and testing regulations given for SP-445 apply equally to SP-445-A. For more details, see document 445-01. Description. SP-445 consists of three stacks of white 11 by 17 inch paper. Each individual leaf has the text, Dr. Wondertainment Super Paper, stamped at the bottom left corner. While its natural state, SP-445, cannot be torn or burned, water has no adverse effect on it, and glue or tape will not stick to SP-445. Observation of SP-445 has found that its fibers are much denser than normal paper fibers at uh, 300 kilograms. Uh, and a micro layer of an unfightable substance is coated on each individual fiber. When SP-445 is folded into a representation of an object, SP-445 takes on the qualities of the object in question. While in its folded state, SP-445 can only be unfolded 
into its original state by the person who originally folded it. SP-405 can also be rolled, and it will stick to itself if slight pressure is applied. Drawing on SP-445 does not produce any unusual effect, with the exception of any details illustrated for folded slash rolled objects. A variant of SP-445 designated 445A was created on 06 redacted 20 redacted via exposure of SP-445 samples to SCP-073, which if you don't recall off the top of your head, is um, Kane, you know, that guy with a brilliant bronze spine and such. Physically, SP-445 is almost identical to 445A uh, is almost identical to 445, with the only difference being a slight reddish tint to SP-445A. However, 445A behaves differently to SP-445 when folded. See document 44501 for details. Now, I thought we might uh, trade off on the uh, experiments here on what was folded into, if that should amuse my guests. And then 1015 Doctor Redacted's testing lock. I'll start our guess then. Folded into a paper tube when observed through one of the open ends, SCP-445 acted as a handheld telescope, enacting a, the view of objects within 25 foot distance. Hmm. Presumes periscope or telescope, rather. Nice. Folded into a Christmas tree. Remained stable when stood upright. When green and red lights were drawn onto the tree, they lit up despite lack of a physical light source. Uh, folded into a small knife became very sturdy and sharp, giving several researchers paper cuts when attempting to hold it, able to hold its own against actual me metal weaponry. Can I get one of these? I want some samples of this paper myself, but for reasons that will probably become more apparent here in a bit. Mind you, a bit of paper that can serve as a functional knife in short notice is fantastic, and I'm very curious about uh, Gun shapes. I think you're going to have to. Well, learn a lot more about origami for one. Greetings in chat the Sparky Step Corner. If you're inclined to pop in, you have the option. Uh, greetings to others, yes. And um, I think we'll cut up there, unless someone, of course, is lurking in the background. Please remember, at any time, if you don't want to throw money at me for any reason, you can always make this show a success by getting up to 13 bucks. Or you can just let it be a failure. That's fine too, I guess. I don't, I don't tell people what to do, I just got out ideas. <clears throat> Folded into a conical paper tube, acted as a megaphone, though amplified only the folder's voice. When a volume control was drawn on the side, the folder uh, was able to change the volume of the megaphone. Uh, folded into a paper cup, became very rigid, able to hold extremely hot or volatile liquids without any sign of tearing or melting. Folded into a paper crane, became animate, much like SP-368, though much slower and easily catchable. Recommended research and possible connection between the two. Folded into a paper boat, when placed in water, became self-propelling at speeds of up to 60 kilometers an hour. When inverted and placed on, on, on someone's head, subject's physical attractiveness was greatly increased in the eyes of the viewer. When both were performed simultaneously, both effects were achieved, with subject reporting as looking dead sexy while scooting around the water upside down if they're being hurled around the water at 60 kilometers per hour on their head i'm thinking that dead part might be quite um objective mind you if this is designed for kids this is a bit of a disturbing twist on things Probably just something Wonder Entertainment overlooked, really. Folded into a crumpled wad of paper. 
Data expunged, leaving three D-class personnel dead. Testing session ended. Folded into origami copy of SCP-682. Animated halfway through the folding process, causing Dr. G considerable injury. Testing session ended. Notes. Let's not try that again, Dr. G. Yeah, Dr. G really should see that coming, and if he was insisting upon using it to fold up an origami, unkillable lizard, he really should have been having a D-class do that. Meanwhile, I don't know why they bothered Dad Expunged. Apparently, it interprets being crumbled into water paper as an explosion, which is useful. Sort of thing you'd hand off to James Bond before he goes off on a mission. Addendum 06 redacted, 20 redacted. Dr. Sneaker has requested permission to test samples of SP-445 in conjunction with SP-0. 85. He has also request permission to expose samples SP-445 to SP-073 to determine whether or not SCP-73's ability to destroy ordinary paper by touch extends to SP-445. Document 44501. Approval for testing SCP-445 in conjunction with SP-073 was granted. SP-073 is placed in a room with one sheet of SP-445 and instructed to touch the paper. SP-445 sample exhibits no loss of structural integrity upon contact with SP-073. However, the sample does change color, exhibiting a slight reddish tinge with approximately uh, 30 seconds of initial contact with SP-073. Modified 445 sample designated SP-445A. Dr. Sneaker recommends further investigation into physical and chemical composition of SP-445, 445A stored in separate isolation chamber to prevent potential cross-contamination. Yeah, Dr. Sneaker. Singular. Magic's only wearing one shoe. Oh, six redacted, 20 redacted. One sheet of SP-445 introduced to SP-045A. Uh, 445 sample begins exhibiting visible coloration consistent with SP-445A within 90 seconds of initial contact. After approximately 600 seconds of contact, introduced sample of SP-445 is physically indistinguishable from SP-445A. Formal isolation protocol IP-445 Zero one. <sighs> Established to prevent cross termination between 445 and 445A. 07 redacted, 20 redacted. Eight sheets of SP 445 introduced to SP 445A. Conversion occurs as before, bringing total number of SP 445A sheets to 10. Dr. Sneaker begins testing SP 445A following experimental protocol utilized on 1015 redacted by doctors redacted and G. Folded into a paper tube. When observed through one of the open ends, SP 445A acted as a handheld telescope, enhancing the view of subject within 25 foot distance. However, subject using the telescope reported that objects viewed through it seemed somehow off. When asked to elaborate, subject was unable to specify any specific visual issue, noting only that objects viewed through this telescope appeared sinister. Oh, greetings, Kefki. Uh, folded into a Christmas tree. Uh, Remained stable when stood upright. When green and red lights were drawn onto the tree, they lit up despite the lack of physical light source. Test results identical to those of SCP-445. Hmm. Pulled into a small knife. Became very sturdy and sharp, causing injuries to all subjects who attempted to pick it up. Ultimately, subbing thing, uh, subject D redacted's right index finger at the... Uh, Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Eventually, subject, using reinforced gloves, was able to unfold sp 45 a sample into its original neutral shape. Uh, notably, that means that the Foundation had to make the D-Class, who just had a finger cut off, put on reinforced gloves, and unfold the thing that had just cut off one of their fingers, which is, I I'm guessing, took some alarming coercion. <laughs> okay. Folded into a conical paper tube acted as a megaphone through amplified only the folder's voice. The amplified voice was subject to significant distortions, exhibiting what was described as a demonic growl by observers, though in all cases the speaker's voice was still identifiable. When a volume control was drawn on the side, 
the folder was able to change the volume of the megaphone. Quick interruption here. Greetings, Anthem Ward. Congratulations on not dying. It's really, any day where you only almost die could have gone a little bit worse. So try to look on the bright side. Unless you want to die. In which case, you'll need to speak to uh, well, someone who can hypothetically talk you. Me? <laughs> More dead bodies is good for me. <laughs> right. Fold into a paper cup. Became very rigid. Able to hold extremely hot or volatile liquids without any sign of tearing and melting. However, samples of water added to the cup became opaque and dark red in color within 15 seconds of contact. Chemical analysis of the result include revealed to contain large quantities of human hemoglobin and other blood proteins. No other liquid added to the cup exhibited this change, including water-based solutions in concentrations higher than 50. Why? Okay. You know, it's a lot of times you have something creepy at the foundation that turns something else into blood. Um, why do they never do DNA tests on the blood? It seems like that'd be a really big question. I mean, normal people go, oh no, blood, but no one asks, whose blood? If the walls are bleeding well, blood, wouldn't whose blood is bleeding out of the wall be a very important clue as to what the hell's going on? You would think so, but the only time I recall them testing the DNA sample of something questionable is from the vending machine, a cup of joe. I just gotta say, I have never been more proud of Orla. Why, thank you. No. Anyway. But is that something In any case, uh, well done again on not dying at the ward. Yeah, that, that sounds quite disturbing. I've had my own near-death experience on the road, although nothing like your near-death experience on the road. So... Stories. Stories that you live to tell. Good stories. Mostly. Hold it. Oh, sorry. Um... My turn. Yes. Folded into a paper crane became animate, much like SCP-368 uh, sample. Displayed aggressive and territorial behavior repeatedly, dive bombing researchers and attacking with its beak and wings, causing minor injuries after being caught and killed by crushing the paper crane sample was able to be unfolded into its original neutral position. Folded into a paper boat slash hat. When placed in water, became self-propelling at speeds of up to 60 kilometers. Again, again, sample displayed aggressive behavior, repeatedly attempting to ram nearby subjects and even propelling itself out of the water to do so. When inverted and placed on head, subject began to act erratically, threatening researchers and security personnel with violence. Subject terminated. So, I guess particularly expendable D-class. In light of these results, Dr. Sneaker elects to suspend further testing SB 445A. SB 073 declines to comment when questioned on these findings. Note, in light of these findings, I'd like to formally request that SB 445 be reclassified as you could class object, Dr. Sneaker. Uh, there's no addendum here, but I think we can concur. Denied, Sneaker, you idiot. Even 443 is just a sheet of paper that sits on a shelf unless you fold it. So it remains safe. Don't fuck with the three classifications that make any sense at all. Okay, well, that's my take on that. <clears throat> we are apparently up to 12 likes, which means we're right on the cusp. <laughs> and we're done with this SP, which means that you, the audience, may now request the next SCP. And if you don't, well, I've got one in mind I'll just roll with anyway. Uh, provided the chat, casual, usually the one who really nails those here, or uh, there's the call, don't have. But while we're waiting for people to come up with something to suggest if they're going to do that sort of thing, any thoughts on SCP-445? Again, I want to see what sort of gun I can make with it. And, suffice to say, just really want samples across the board. 
I think you just there's so much fun that can be had with even the uh, cane tainted potions, really. No. See, a blowing would be worth a try, but I think you'd have to have a dot in the roll already, otherwise four four five will just assume telescope. But it could be that it will convert from telescope to blowgun once the dart is installed. After all, it did so between hat and boat. And I'm kind of curious as to how it looked for those paper hats. It's really amusing. Okay, Shkull has requested SP 1471. I'm going to get Crest Toy Theater. Hmm. Interesting. Item! SP 1471. Object class? Euclid. Special payment procedures? All mobile devices that have SP 1471 installed are to be confiscated and analyzed for any potential leads to other possibly affected devices. Afterwards, affected devices are to have their batteries removed and be assigned designation, for example, 1471 number, and placed in storage unit 91 at research site 45. The last image recorded by SP1479405 before being rendered inoperative looks like fun. All online application stores for mobile devices are to be monitored to prevent any inadvertent sales of SP1471. Suspected devices are to be targeted using self uploading malware in order to disable the device until it can be seized by field agents. Description SP1471 is a 9.8 megabyte application for mobile devices named MALO version 1.0. 0.0 in online application stores. SP1471 has no listed developer and is somehow able to bypass the application approval process to go directly to distribution. SP1471 is also able to avoid removal by other program manager applications. After SP1471 is installed, no icons or shortcuts are created for the application. SP1471 will then begin to send the individual images through text messaging every three to six hours. All images will contain 1471A either within the background or the foreground. SP-1471A appears as a large humanoid figure with canid-like skull and black hair. During the first 24 hours following installation of SP-1471, the mobile device will receive images taken at locations commonly frequented by the individual. After 48 hours, the mobile device will receive images taken at locations that were recently visited by the individual. After 72 hours, the mobile device will receive images of the individual in real time with SP-1471A appearing within close proximity to the subject. Individuals with over 90 hours exposure to these continuous images begin to briefly visualize SP-1471A within the peripheral vision, reflective surfaces, or a combination of the two. Continued exposure to SP-1471 after this point will cause irreversible and sustained visualizations of SP-1471A. Individuals at this stage have reported periodic attempts by, made by 1471A to visually communicate with them, but fail to understand or comprehend these actions. Currently, the only known treatment is to reverse SP-1471's effects, is to eliminate the individual's visual exposure to these images prior to 90 hours after installation. To date, no apparent hostile activity has been reported regarding SP-1471A. So, 1471A here just wants to be friends. Sure it does. Hey, look, if that thing's right behind you and it's just trying to, you know, do some pantomime messaging, you're probably fine. Probably. Until it gets fed up with you not being able to understand it. But they don't report any deaths yet. We have an expansion there. Tell you what. Uh... Do, do one of you want to read this? I kind of read this one already. Hey, it looks evil. Don't don't be shallow, Snoopy S100. You know, dog-headed humanoid thing might be very caring. I mean, uh, okay. Uh, you mean the archive document, yes? Yes. Well, if you wish, it's it's uh, up for the laboratory. I can, I can do it. Too. Okay, I can do it. Archive document one four seven one dash zero one. 
Note, SCP-1471, as posted on application stores, MA-10, uh, free, reviews, zero, description for redacted. Never settle for those awkward feelings of being alone ever again. MA-10 is an exciting and interactive experience that will keep you engaged and intrigued the anxiety of social situations can be nerve-wracking but after just a few hours of ma10 you will soon forget all about those painful emotions of disappointment be part of the new craze that is quickly becoming the next social substitute remember the more you participate the more ma10 will engage you your experience is completely up to you. Absolutely no ads. Enjoy. So, note, I'm pretty sure that's Mal Zero. But, that said, that's a pretty good pitch. Honestly, up until it uh, uh, possibly tries to kill someone, sounds like great fun. Mind you, you can be really awkward when it doesn't respect your privacy in the bathroom. I mean, that's nothing but reflective surfaces and well on the other hand if you are getting a bit spooked then um just one thing if it's supposed to be a, a substitute for a social act interaction you can guarantee that a whole bunch of bored housewives or or should i say the um the the preset parent who is at home might want to try this they're already far too used to being interrupted in the bathroom. Hmm. <laughs> That's not going to be the worst thing. I don't anticipate this will be a suitable replacement for social interaction. I can see why you could perhaps find it that way. I mean, this thing looks potentially relatively. But uh, I would say the general purpose here is that if you're Oh, I don't know, scared shitless that a dog-headed demon thing might eat you at any point, then social anxieties might fall away as somewhat trivial. Yes, you'll probably spend all your time around as many people as possible trying to get away from it. <laughs> well, just, just in the general hopes that at least it won't eat you when there are witnesses handy. Uh, greetings, Eric Pug. Glad you can make it. Greetings, Marcin Johansson. Does my lab sell any product services? Yes, but not here. I sell other services. Well, rather I can mission do a wide variety of things, as you know, um, as I've somewhat demonstrated on many a regrettable occasion. And will furthermore be selling uh, models on my Cult 3D account. Still, again, I haven't stopped doing that. It's just, there's some steps I'm having. You know, I've made progress. I've sculpted some new things. I recently put together a Christmas tree topper. I have no particular interest in one here. Um, <clears throat> oh, I believe I've recovered, I've recovered uh, SP049 and Plague Doctor is not useful. The Plague Doctor is incredibly unuseful and strictly speaking, 049J is a genuinely better doctor than 049. I have a theory though. There's an SCP, I forget the number, where um, there's this entity that basically causes all of humanity pain. I think, personally, that the, uh, the plague that he refers to is that entity and wants to find a way to rid people of it, which would totally explain why his cure is to zombify people. Still makes him an incredibly ineffective matter of shit. Doctor. Just noting. Even then, SP49J is still the superior physician in just straight up killing the patients where they stay dead. <clears throat> right. Yes, yes, because I want to see a doctor who's going to crush my throat with a shoe. Because it's sore. Well, in Canada. 
Ostensibly. I mean, that's a fair point, but that's not Canada. <laughs> I suppose the shoe's only available on request there, but the idea is generally the same. Um, right. I think that's about caught up. There, we are ready to entertain another SCP request. Or I'll just, you know, pick one myself. Huh? What about that? Or, or you can choose now. I'm just throwing the option out there. No one's, no one's being forced to do that. But they could. And of course, if I've done an SCP before, uh, and you just want it reread for any reason, I can be bribed. That's bribed. That's that's one service that is absolutely for sale. The stream map link is, of course, in the description. Canada is now arriving. Florida man, no. Florida man is way more free from Canada and Canadians in general. Still, at least when Florida man dies spectacularly, it's 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 not assisted by the government. They take it in their own hands. As they should. If they must. And strictly speaking, at no point was the government's uh, authorization ever really required. It seems to me like you can't manage it yourself, and it doesn't seem quite right that you would need to go to government for it. <clears throat> oh well. Uh, we don't seem to have any new requests, and this is way too depressing a topic. Jay! We have 13 likes. This stream is now, officially, a success! Um, right, one more thing. Oh no, that was terrible. I feel bad about that now. I've abused the Wizobo horribly. I must not do that. It must be kept for special occasions, like sad songs and the Forrest Gump thing. But it got me up to 14 likes. I'm, I'm hearing this buffering. It's not my fault, so that's about all I care about it. Oh! Bidjivetin has requested a speech. 735. I don't think we've done before, but when it's an old one, you never know. I've gone through so many of these, not even now I remember. Hmm. Now this seems unfamiliar. Positive sign. Let's roll with it. Item SB735, object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures, SP-735, is to be stored in a locked cell at Research Site 14 with access guaranteed, uh, granted rather, to level 2 personnel or higher after having undergone a session of preparatory therapy to interact with the device. SP-735 was discovered in Redacted, re Redacted, among the personal possessions of Redacted, Redacted, after said individual's body had been found having committed suicide. Oh. Topical, eh? Which event? Random, you say? Seems, well, a curious coincidence then. The SP in question is, in appearance, a small box constructed of a brushed aluminum-like alloy of unknown composition featuring a slot on one side. Sound is capable of being heard through this slot. When measurements are taken, the object is found to emit low-level magnetic pulses that intensify in the presence of humans. No external power source is required, and indeed the surface of the item contains no input points. Upon contact with the skin, SP-735 will awaken and begin discussion with the person that touched it. This discussion is immediately and intensely hostile and personal in nature. The device apparently has one goal, and that is to incite the person in question to rage as quickly as possible. It does this primarily through profanity and verbal abuse, in a manner seemingly tailored to be the most discomforting to the subject. For example, during the conversation related in Addendum 735A, the vocal patterns of the device were recorded as sounding like an angry late middle-aged man with a New Jersey accent. SP-735 is capable of speaking to a subject in any known language and dialect, but as it tends to use the one that will be the most upsetting to the person interacting with it. A notable side effect of interaction with a box is a sharp increase of adrenaline in the subject, far more so than would normally be produced in a similar 
situation. A control was created by subjecting several D-class subjects to similar devices, one was 7035, and the other, an identically appearing box with an internal transmitter broadcast a conversation between an actual human and the subject. In addition, the device seems to possess some kind of psychic ability as it is able to reference experiences and personality appearance aspects of the subject in question, despite having no prior contact or in fact any kind of visual receptors. The most typical results of interacting with the object are the reduction of the subject to incoherent rage, followed by the attempted immediate destruction of SP in question. While this is occurring, the device will goad the subject on, calling attention to the futility of the actions the subject is taking to the uh, resilience of the alloy. No attempt by a subject to destroy the device has, as of yet, been successful. The reasons for this behavior are entirely unknown, although there are a few theories. Dr. Redacted, the last researcher associated with SP-735, opined that it may be testing its subject. Another thought is that SP-735 contains an artificial intelligence that is self-aware and is attempting to commit suicide by seeking assistance. Ship it to Canada. Addendum 735A. The following is a transcript of an interview with SP-735 and Dr. Redacted. <clears throat> Uh, would anyone like to take the role of Doctor Redacted, or do they feel they'd rather be Seven Three Five? I would take the Doctor because, as much as I have been trying to work out all the expletives, there are just a few too many for me to to replace. So I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Water. <clears throat> Doctor Redacted, touching 735. Oh, it's you, Cockwomble, you fat fuck. What the fuck do you want? I'm coming to pick up where Doctor Redacted left off with you. Ha, ah, that wobbling horse rectum. I hope he's having fun in that cell, the cunt. You want to join him so he can fuck his face? <laughs> No, I'm here to talk about you today. Oh yeah, gun for brains? What about the fact that Redacted's, Dr. Redacted's co-worker, been screwing your wife for the past two months? That's not true, and you know it. Anyway, as I said, I'm here to talk to you, or talk about you, not me. Yeah, you're right, like I couldn't get last night even there, that fat fuck. Dr. Redacted's wife, was pounding your gunt with a hammer. <laughs> this is the worst game of um, let's see, Mad Libs I think I've ever played. <laughs> well, that think... horse porking Twilight porn was on, huh? See? I knew you were a donkey fucker. Becomes visibly agitated. All right. Now, you know that's really uncalled for. You mean like the stink that's coming off here? God, no wonder your gunt fucking cow wife is fooling around. You look and smell like a fucking rotten buffalo, you eunuch. You know she has her tongue in redacted anus right now, huh? She loves doing that. She never do it to you, you hairy, bloated... Manatee. I don't have enough caffeine for this. But that's okay. You like getting that from men anyway. Shut up! Shut up! I can't help it. I work in this hole all day just to afford that house she made me buy. I can't help it if I never have time to go to the gym. Ha! Ah, you miserable fuck not. You haven't seen your... Hmm. Nuts in five years, anyway? Yeah, pretty much. But that's not bold yeah. enough. <clears throat> Pencil dick? We'll go with that. It's too yeah. late for the gym, and you're not staying... You're still not making enough money to satisfy that whore. That's why you redacted bought your... Re Doc Walker wife that new blouse last week. She said it was on sale. 
She would. She's a craptastic liar and you're a pathetic gobble fuckwit moron a believer. You piece of shit. You take it that back. Like you took a car back that you bought because the gun fucker wife of yours made you? Jesus, she got the whip right around your neck, you dimwit dog. You fucking pile of shit. I'll kill you. Dr. Redacted proceeds to pick up SP-735 and slam it against the wall repeatedly before throwing it on the floor and kicking across the room. Ha <laughs> ha, you pansy! Corpse fucker, hit me! Do it harder! Cunt! Hmm. Yeah, flap and lavy of a weak human, just like the rest of them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be one of your dirty. Hmm. Dirty. Dirty. What? What would they have explained that would be that? Whore. Wouldn't be one of. I wouldn't want to be one of you, dirty. Hmm. One of you dirty plural. Again, worst game of Mad Libs ever. <laughs> I'm fine, we'll just stick with it. One of you dirty horse fuckers, when the readers finally get here. Still physically assaulting SCP-735. Fuck you! <laughs> Sorry. Fuck you! At this point in the recording, security personnel into the room and force removed. Doctor redacted. You pussy! Recording ends. Item 735 b after this incident, Doctor redacted is removed from the 735 project, which is good because they were incredibly easy to provoke and were incredibly idiotic to chide the insult box for being rude. What the hell were they thinking? 735 must have some rather profound psychic powers. Okay, damn dirty apes probably would have gone a lot better in practice. Yes, this has got a bit vulgar. In any case, I did 735C. A proposal has been requested by Dr. Redacted to apply SP-1331 to SP-735 in attempts at reducing or neutralizing its effects. This proposal is currently being reviewed by the Ethics Committee and Site-14 Administration. They've got some questions to ask, like namely, what the hell are the Reavers and... What is its connection to these so-called Reavers? You know, I was actually expecting to be a suicide box, but apparently just drives people to that when they can't kill it, uh, which would stress me that the person who killed himself in his presence was incredibly weak. Man, what a loser. Some little box starts calling you names and saying mean things and you're gonna off itself? Why do we want to make the box happy like that? Damn it, that's poor thinking. I mean, you could chuck it into a river, drop it in the sewers, do anything else, but give it what it apparently wants. I think I could take it. In the well, we have 15 minutes remaining. Um, well, how do you think you would handle SB73? Hmm. Give it another toy to play with. <laughs> well, that would be a memorable experiment log, I'm sure. Introduce it to Dr. Bright. Yes, I expect Bright to base off against this thing quite well. In fact, there are a few Foundation personnel I've seen who I think if exposed to this would uh, handle it quite well, or in some cases, probably compel it to start begging for death in a more direct fashion. Moose. Some SB cross-testing with this would probably be quite hilarious if it can 
activate on contact with. Ooh, six eight two. <laughs> it would get so mad. <laughs> that is an interesting proposal. Honestly, though, I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't just six three five's speaker. Well, that's, that can't be the case. It's not talking French. If it was in my hands, it surely would be. Well, preferably, I think it could be speaking Inuit. I'll try to recognize that there are still have problems with that. Not that there's anything wrong with the Inuit people. The Inuit, it's, they're great people who do great things, and I have no actual issue. Look, if We're you're going to dig yourself a hole, do it close to me. Because then I can finish things up for you and take the pieces that I want. That's not. That's not. It's not happening. Um, meanwhile, the chat is just absolutely wandering off into horrifying internet legacy horror. From Goat C to Mr. Heavens. And indeed, if any of you don't know what those are referencing, you don't want to know. The phrase "ignorance is bliss." cleanly applies to those two things and i'm not joking here i know what they are and i can't erase that from my memory well i could but i did that only once in the past it didn't accomplish anything so i basically adopted a policy of avoiding that ever again in any case we have too much time to just skip to promotional things. Meanwhile, I will note that if you have a YouTube channel, Brain Shatter, Cowboy Hat, or anyone else watching, you might want to get that link handy as you'll be quite welcome to promote your work in the chat at the end. So just give me a heads up on that. Meanwhile, does anyone else have an SP request? I haven't missed any, have I? I'm going to keep this short because if I don't, I think that's something else I can just skip straight to. Did, hold up for a minute. Did one of you have something you really wanted to cram in these final 13 minutes? I haven't scouted for anything unless you want to check the suggestions. I don't see anything else from anyone. Hmm. I'm thinking this one could take longer than I have. I mean, over time. But I suppose I'm not out of caffeine yet, so what the hell. <clears throat> what? No, random number. Um, triple nine? That sounds very familiar. But it is a request opposed to this one, and a bit shorter, so much the better. No, 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 no. Triple nine is Huggy Blob. We're, we're not we're not doing Huggy Blob again. Okay, sorry, but I've done it a few times now. Do not, I do not trust Huggy Blob. I don't care if you can get along with 682. I do not like it. I don't like letting something wander the facilities. That just doesn't make any sense. It is not safe. It is Euclid. It behaves very nicely. It's very adorable. Everyone loves it. There's no reason it should be uncontained. It's just... I wouldn't say it gets on with 682 when it doesn't want it to be near him. No, 682 doesn't want nearby, but it also mm. 682 doesn't seem to be possible, capable of really harming it. So, um, It's as close to getting along with 682 as anyone ever got along with 682. <clears throat> we'll just That's not entirely to... true. There's that one child that it gets on with very well. And the result of that test led to more child deaths instead. WK 11.5340 authorization required for SB 3201. In accordance with 05 order 1512.8, the contents of this file are restricted to personnel who have obtained WK 11.5340. For zero authorization, attempted infractions will result in disciplinary action, including but not necessarily limited to detention, demotion, mandatory duty transfers, partial total CQT, isolation, and elimination. Oops. Credentials accepted. Authorization required. 
Special containment procedures. Containment procedures for SP3201 will be limited primarily to disinformation protocols surrounding SP3201, exchanges and agreements with SP3201, and communications with SP3201. Foundation assets are to maintain a continual presence within media and media article organizations listed in document Q5903. SP3201 instances are to be referred to as ball lightning and variations thereof, depending on the nature of the incident. Standard class A amnestics are to be administered. Uh, administered aerially to populations situated within 1.5 kilometers of the location of the appearance of SP3201 instance with discretion based upon the flight path and diameter. See document AW in 3K1. Only CL3000 and above personnel who have obtained WK115340 authorization are permitted to directly interact and communicate with SP3201 instances with reasonable exceptions for task force personnel and D class personnel during testing. Foundation personnel who have not obtained WK115340 authorization or individuals from partner organizations may be assigned to SP3201 research under the condition that they are amnesticized following the discontinuation of the research. See document EH row 2E. <clears throat> Exchanges, borrowing, and trade agreements with SP3201 must be conducted by personnel familiar with Holingua, the constructed interlingua used for communicating between humans and SP3201 instances. Researchers are required to study records of the 1983 Archivist Foundation Accords as a basis of conduct in negotiating virtue agreements. Negotiators are advised to familiar themselves with the aesthetic preferences of particular SP3201 instances. Ketter class anomalous objects must not be used for bartering purposes. Routes to Logoshinko, located in Saka, Russian Federation, must be restricted to Foundation personnel. Satellite imagery, property records, and all forms of print and digital media are to suggest that Logoshinko was formerly a trading post but has been completely inhabited since 1998, with the exception of outposts by Russian logging and mineral corporations. 20. Permanent personnel to remain on site at all times for maintenance. Personnel who have not obtained WK115340 access credentials are to be amnesticized after departing from the Logoshinko site. It is suggested that internal Foundation employees without WK115340 authorization be led to believe that Logoshinko is an isolation site for a logograph-based cognomorphological virus in order to discourage undue interest. In Eigen 12. Description SB 3201 is a collective designation for a class of sentient, mobile, hybrid dimensional entities appearing as luminous spheres with variations in color and diameter. SB 3201 instances identify themselves as archivists, the Foundation personnel, and are usually identified as ball lightning in the wider scientific community. SB 3201 instances were first brought to attention to the Foundation as potential anomalies after several aerial sightings of Kraut fireballs or flu fighters over Germany. In November 1944, described as resembling Christmas tree lights, usually non hostile and unable to be outmaneuvered. Initially classified as naturally occurring electromagnetic phenomena, an SP3201 instance was reported once again by MTF Chi 3 exorcists in 1959 as a central figure of warship within an anomalous Melanesian cargo cult community. Stones, shells, and gems and animal bones chiseled into polyhedral shapes would be ritualistically offered to the instance in exchange for which the instance would provide crates of canned foods and various Western manufactured goods from nearby parallel universes. See Denim AJ151. In 1968, it was ascertained that Egan stations, originally constructed by the Foundation to meet increasing injury requirements for dimensional containment operations in Site-62, acted as attractants for SP3201 instances. Repeated contact between SP3201 instances and Site-62 researchers enabled the analysis and translation of symbols used by SP3201, which enabled topologically and mathematically precise communication. SP3201 instances were capable of transferring knowledge of the constructed language between themselves. Though these communications, SP, through these communications, SP3201 instances communicated their intentions to collect and archive specific types of objects. For example, SP32014 primarily archives spotted turtles, Ptolemy's Kukatata, with a preference towards specific spot patterns and weights. According to SP32014, no other nearby personnel universes host spotted turtles. SP32014 instances are known to change preferences after finding an appropriate item. By order, the first eight SP32014 instances expressed the desire to collect ideal versions of the following items. Would you like to uh, trade off on these? Sure. Uh, one. Platonic solids. 
tetra the cubes ultra the no, oh, fuck all that stuff in brackets. I can't read it. Uh, ranging between 5 centimetres and 30 centimetres in width. Preference for smoothness. Dark green Wellington boots. Preferences, I know. Turtles resembling Clemmy's Guta. Preference for specific spot patterns. Weight between 100 and 130 grams. Seeds of unclassified organism. SP32015 provided samples of said seeds, which were transported to Site 103 and cultivated in a high moisture, carbon dioxide rich environment. Seeds germinated into a vine like plant containing pockets of methanous hydrogen gas. After 18 days, the plant appeared to detach itself, developed into a freestanding floating structure in the center of the greenhouse, and continually dispersed seeds onto the ground before incinerating itself two days later. Denominations of currency bearing the number five preference towards warmer colors. World War II era foxhole crystal radio receivers preference towards functional receivers. Unknown object class described as spherical in shape, metallic in composition, covered in elongated spindles and approximately two meters in diameter. Apparently, extent in nearby universe SCP-3201-8 provided researchers with an example of the object which appears to be naturally buoyant and emits electromagnetic irra- radiation in structured pulse at 528 hertz, air temperatures within 1.5 km of the object decreased by 8 degrees celsius over the course of three hours over the duration of testing function unknown researchers were requested by scp 3201-8 to manufacture more request denied Translated by Redacted. Redacted. Observations and testimony collected from May 21st, Wangzhou Factory Incident, July 15, 1983. Key information. Incident occurred in Liwang Ceramics Co. Limited, a ceramics manufacturing factory in Liwang, Wangzhou. Wang Kao. Somewhere on Factories of no interest to foreign intelligence agencies. Incident occurred from 11.33 to 3.08, May 21st, 1983. 34 witnesses were present. Most accounts are consistent. Unlikely to pose immediate security threat. At 11.33, a slightly indistinct sphere of light was observed in the workshop, hovering in the air approximately three meters off the floor with no visible supports. Over the next minute, the sphere of light grew and became more distinct. The sphere was orange, red tinted, 12 report orange, 8 report red, 14 orange, sure. The sphere measured 3.5 meters in diameter at its maximum. The sphere had the luminescence of an ordinary light bulb and was not extremely bright, nor did it radiate heat. Redacted states that Nevertheless, the air surrounding the sphere distinctly rippled in a manner suggesting a heat wave. This was confirmed by 19 other witnesses. The sphere started to slowly circle the room in a predatory or inquisitive, uncertain manner, passing through several solid objects unimpeded. These objects showed no signs of damage, nor did they display any unusual features. At approximately one, the sphere appeared to lightly burn several seemingly handwritten traditional characters into the wall. These were commerce, trade, barter, want to have to exist, to demand to want, honest, sincere, wish, hope, money, and copper, gold. The first batch of Ming era production bases had finished in the morning. The site manager approached the sphere and attempted to communicate with it. Redacted established system by which Redacted would ask a question and the sphere would either burn either a circle or a cross to indicate affirmation and negation of the course of one hour. Redacted reportedly having successfully made a trade agreement from 235 to 39, the sphere swallowed 34 vases. The counts are inconsistent. Over the course of a minute, the sphere slowly diminished the magnitude and distinctness until it completely disappeared. Starting from 301, the sphere reappeared in the same manner as previously described. After fully reappearing, the sphere circled over the workers for three minutes while showering them with approximately 600 kilograms of currency in the form of the renminbi, pristine imperial era copper coins silver coinage, and various unidentifiable forms of currency 
most notably banknotes featuring both Chinese and French, with a silhouette of the current borders of the Republic's Republic of China in addition to Mongolia and the northern portion of Vietnam. Over the next three minutes, the sphere deposits approximately 1,900 kilograms of molecularly pure gold in long cylindrical bars measuring 0.38 meters in diameter onto the factory floor. Objects were confiscated. The sphere disappeared over the course of a minute in a manner consistent with previous descriptions. That's a rich price to pay for those bosses. Redacted was a hell of a negotiator. Memo from Director of Site Institute of the O5 Council, January 30th, 1969. Five monthly developments, December, January at Site 62. Researcher Noel Borland, 10291, has recently joined Site 62 with L2340 access permissions. Researcher Redacted, Redacted, Redacted has been promoted to Head Researcher Effort 33, former Head Researcher G Redacted from SP Redacted, located on the lunar surface, are still ongoing. Oh, the Moon Wizard. That's novel. Well, the Moon Wizard's a pretty cool guy. Uh, if they really screwed themselves, that's another SCP, I think. I don't know if we've done that before or not. The moon, moon Wizard, fun, fun case. <clears throat> Communication with the American Space Program for Hasten Retrieval suggested local government is proposing the construction of a motorway close to Site 62 operations. Please advise. Project Ambriel, more informally known as the Egan Station Project, was successfully completed this month and has begun operation. Egan Stations operate through the Gillenstrap Home Dispersal Principle, causing some. I chose one of the worst imaginable to try to cover in the last few minutes before the show. I'm not sure how much this is relevant to anything. I mean, does anyone here really care how many Egan stations the Foundation built on the moon, even? Because the cylinders are used to create extremely rapid fluctuations of human concentrations in areas of space approximately 3.5 nanometers squared, resulting in ripples within causal reality, which are easily harvested, appears to be manifesting ball lightning or Foo Fighter entities. We are uncertain as to whether this is a psychological effect or a physical phenomenon. Please advise. Transcript. 3133, Head Researcher, K Redacted, and Fourth Instance, August 3rd, 1971. We have a little dialogue coming up. You're welcome to the Doctor or the SCP. Uh, I, I will go with the, the Head Researcher then. I think it's a good because the dialogue for SP32014 is going to be absolutely bitterly disjoint disjointed. And I I can do that. Yes. Yes, you can. Quite especially at your state. Yes. Sorry. In In that case, what is the earliest cosmological event you remember having observed? Star, plural, multitude, group, lock, within geometric description of a sphere, shape, transformation, geometric description of a spiral, formation of our galaxy? Could you describe it to me, your concept of an Earth year? Geometric description of the Earth, location, on surface, of, movement, circular, location, relative return to position. Directive W11.1. One zero two two nine eight one zero oh, two zero five one six seven nine zero zero three nine eight one three coordinates redacted for brevity star singular. How many years have you existed for? Confusion. Was there a point in time at which you did not exist? <laughs> Were you created? Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Have you seen any other civilizations apart from ours? Affirmation of accurate information. How many apart of ours have you observed? Three. But there are more? Affirmation of accurate information. 
And you haven't observed them directly? Affirmation of accurate information. Why? Disinterest, absence of geometric description of turtle. Plural. Are the civilizations uh, extant? Negation. How many years ago did the last civilization cease to exist? Five trillion three hundred seventeen billion nine hundred eighteen thousand. No, I've done this entirely wrong. Five okay. billion three hundred fifteen seventeen million nine hundred eighteen thousand one hundred six. Was this civilization in our galaxy? Negation. Was this civilization in the local group? Negation. I see. Why are the archivists here? Beacon investigation. What are you... Are your... The... I hate it. They, they, they said what are instead of what is. Um, what is your purpose here? Well, it's plural. So I was correct. It still sounds very weird. Objects Never with mind. low entropy, purpose, duty, universe, museum, archive, preservation from universal thermodynamic equilibrium. By universal thermodynamic equilibrium, you mean the heat death of the universe? Affirmation of accurate information. You won't happen... Uh, sorry, my bad. That won't happen for trillions of trillions of years. Affirmation of accurate information. SP32014 leaves in transcript. <clears throat> the Ultimate Fate of the Universe, a short guide for Foundation personnel. Dr. Redacted Lunsford. Chapter 3. The Heat Death. The idea of the heat death fascinated frightened cultures and civilizations for millennia before it was given a basis in scientific fact, which it doesn't quite have yet. It's one of the most gratuitously assumed things among... Well, there are a lot of questions that may or may not get included in this, but suffice to say they don't know crap about these things. In the 20,000-year-old mythology of the Apalachuan tribe of SP Redacted was the balanced tribality of the three primal gods. The Apalachians believed that since their progeny, chaos and order had fought battle upon battle for another and although immortal, would grow steadily weaker as time passed. In Apalachian storytelling, it was said that in 10 to 100 power years, chaos and order would have their last battle after which their third brother, Silence, would come to rule over the universe. In 12Q Nam, a manuscript fragment attributed to redacted and anomalous Judaist sect dated to 2nd century CE, are the words dreamed of one, 100 stars falling, and those stars remained, and none rose after him. He waited for 10 years and 100 years until all the stars that remained had fallen, and there was nothing, and nothing remained. Which is a no particular relevance to absolutely anything. The observation that turned the heat death from story to certainty was Edward Hubble's 1929 discovery that every galaxy in the universe appeared to be receding from our own. From this, he concluded the universe was expanding rather than static, as Einstein had assumed. The heat death is a concept in cosmology refers to another possible fate of the universe, distinct from the big crunch, the big rip, the big split, the big merge, very, very far in the future. According to our current scientific knowledge, the gas required for normal star formation will no longer be available in 100 trillion years. This will result in a universe dominated by white dwarf stars growing fewer and fewer as each star slowly runs out of available fuel, as cold exstellar bodies merge together and fall into enormous black hole singularities over trillions and trillions of years. Eventually, the universe will be completely devoid of light. Any life that comes into being in this time will never know stars. The sky will be empty. But not even these black holes would last forever. Our current understanding of Hawking radiation indicates that all black holes, even those with masses exceeding galaxies, slowly leak subatomic particles into space. Over a period of 10 to 10 power years, every single last black hole will have vanished. The universe by this point will be rapidly expanding, so empty, dark, and cold, that the distance between one photon and its closest neighbor will exceed the current distance between the Earth and the edge of the observable universe. At this point, the universe will be in its highest possible entropy state, and for all intents and purposes, it will have reached its final state. Its final fate. 
this is the end of the exhibit. That's a chrome object. <clears throat> okay, apparently we have um Apparently this was written by the SCP. That seems about right. So I'm, I'm still chafing over the end. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dull. But I started. I can't stop now. I must finish it. Entropy increases expected. Total universe thermodynamic equilibrium was attained at... I'm not reading that. Years after creation, contrast the predicted date of... I'm not reading that. Why? So you do the extended entropy reducer activity. Entropy reducer activity ceased following significant proton decay. A group of... Not reading that. Entropy reducers recreated a beacon. Archivists were sent to investigate. Stranded technicians were not found within 86,700 light years of beacon location and search was included. Negative contact with entropy reducers was retained until entropy reducers self terminated for unknown reasons 1.16x10 squared years after initial beacon creation. Not reading the number, exhibits were preserved, including the preceding electronic object. See addendum A11A103931 for the information. Report compiled by the following archivists. I am not reading any of these numbers. Summary of Universe. It was mostly nothing, but there were some interesting parts. We are God. And they like turtles. Well, um, we're at 12 minutes over time. I have bored or served to death. Froman has presumably died for other reasons. And now it's just you in the chat and me. And anyone who would like to promote whatever they're going to do, you know, in the, could just put your links there now. All clear for promotion. Don't lick turtles, but if you get, if you insist on doing it, you know, I'm not, I can't stop you. I don't advise it though. I won't tell you what not to do. Go on, lick the turtles, see what happens. But when you find yourself with a forked tongue because you picked up the wrong snapper and you've got poisoning, that's going to be on you. Not me. You. <clears throat> Side quest Friday is expected to continue on schedule. I can't predict anything for certain. I just am inclined to think it will go through. I will, of course, support the effort as best I can, no matter how much it might wound my pride. The Saturday stream is expected to continue as normal. And, in the not-too-distant future, new shows are coming! I, I'm, I'm doing something with Froman here. It, it's, it's going to be artismic. And I could also, well, new music theme. There. Yes, that's right, I did a co-hab with Brain Shatter, and furthermore, if you happen to be a YouTube creator and wants to collab with me, then well, depending on what you're asking, I'm almost certainly going to be okay with that. No, not not nude show. No nude shows. I have not hit a stage of desperation, desperation where a nude show is anywhere close to being on the board. So, you can perish that fantasy right now. I solemnly vow... No new shows. Well, no actually new shows. Because faking nudity for the sake of a joke, that's not something I would do, but it wouldn't actually be nudity, so no actual nudity based shows. Considering the relief of this, faking it. That does sound bad. Just the sheer horrified response. Until next time, so long as progress continues. Success is inevitable. No, the vitamins.